for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the man. She's as always got an update video for you guys today. Today I'm be going over the January 14th update that just came out. Uh, this is an update that I've been waiting for for a while. I thought it would come out sometime last week because every update of the month came in the first uh, week of the month in November and December. They both came by the seventh, where this particular one was a week late. Uh, but you know, I'm sure that they have their their reasons for it. Uh, they they really addressed a lot of the bigger glitches in the game. Uh, some of which I think a lot of people have had issue with. Um, some of the bigger gameplay glitches, which is I'm going to go over the most. But ultimately, this is a massive update. This is a 2.8 gigabyte update. Uh, and I, like I said, it addressed a lot of really uh, important gameplay issues, which I'm going to get into in a moment. But as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to let me know in the comment section or hit the like button. And I will do more videos like this when the updates come out. Now, the majority of this update really seemed to be focused on two of the bigger glitches in the game that EA has been dealing with for some time. One of which is the RPO uh, glitch. And the second one is the run commit glitch, which hit the uh, the internet pretty strong. I know I made a couple of videos about it um, last month. So I was expecting the run commit glitch to be fixed because I really thought that that was one of the cheesier uh, glitches in the game. If you guys don't know, to do the run commit glitch, all you had to do was uh, basically run commit with three or less down linemen rushing. So ultimately, you could have uh, a simple play like cover four, uh, which is only three down linemen rushing stock and basically just run commit the entire game And if there was ever a run play the entire defense would attack the run But if there was a pass play there would be no change at all They would just drop back uh, and play the pass like normal So it really made it hard to run the ball and I know me personally as a runner I mean you could still run the ball against it. There were still ways to get around it RPOs especially got around it, but ultimately um, You know that's something that they fixed so they basically updated that so now if you run commit you will have the entire defense uh, based on their assignments and you will have you know wide open that receivers down the field which is I guess I mean I really don't think that that's realistic uh, at the end of the day I mean I feel like um, you're never gonna see that in a real-life football game where the entire defense just takes off uh, after the running back so ultimately run committing still doesn't necessarily look authentic but it's still gonna be authentic to what EA designed it to be uh, which is the fact that if you run commit you're basically bailing on all receivers once again the other big glitch that they've been dealing with and that they said they patched in recent patches was the RPO uh, glitch, which was basically the ability to basically run off with the quarterback on RPO plays, uh, which is something that I never really did and I didn't run into a whole lot, but I know a lot of people were making videos about how annoying that was. So they, have, they essentially uh, patched that as well in RPO peak plays. I guess that when they passed it last time, you were still able to do that when it comes to RPO peak plays. I guess certain RPO plays, you couldn't do it anymore, but peak plays, you could. And how they address that is if you run these RPO peak plays, the ball will automatically be handed off when the quarterback does not throw the ball within the provided you know time frame so ultimately you can't run with the quarterback anymore because they took away the ability and now the ball will just be handed off every single time uh which you know i mean that's that's one way to do it and i'm guessing that's how they passed it last time because it says they will now function like every other type of rpo call uh, which RPOs aren't typically like that. A lot of times RPOs give you the option to run with uh, the quarterback. So there's still going to be plays in the game where you can run with the quarterback on RPOs, but ultimately the RPO peak is now not one of them. The RPO read plays still are. I made a video about some of the better RPO plays uh, in the game where you can run with the quarterback. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check that out because those plays are the RPO read plays, like the RPO read flat wheel and stuff like that, played out of the Bills and out of the Cardinals or some plays that I put out in a previous video. So if you want to see some RPO plays that still allow you to run with the quarterback, uh, check that out. Link in the description below. Those are probably the biggest updates. Uh, there is a small one here where it says they fixed a spike touchdown celebration where the animation was being spiked with the wrong player's hands. I mean, nobody really cares. Things like that really help with the immersion of the game. But at the end of the day, I don't think anybody's really going to get frustrated and stop playing the game because of a you know failed spike animation. This next one here is from my Mutt followers. Uh, it says they addressed an issue with the film study ability. Now, this is really timely because I actually had somebody asking me in my comment section a couple days ago if they thought they should use the film study ability. And I told them flat out that I had film study on for a while on my Deion Sanders card, and I didn't even notice it. Like, it was almost like it wasn't working properly, and I didn't even notice. I just took it off. I didn't know that it actually was not working properly. So the next one here, it says that they uh, basically fixed 
an issue with film study ability where the opponent's play art was not being displayed in online games after meeting the requirements. Yeah, like I said, I never even noticed. I just thought it was it was junk. I was like, okay, every time I put this on, it cost five ability points, and every time I used it on Deion Sanders, I never really noticed my opponent's play art. So I guess it really was broken. So now I might have to try that again. If you guys use this ability, let me know in the comment section how it works out. So that's pretty much it for the gameplay updates, which, like I said, it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you think of how broken the RPO glitch was and how broken the run commit glitch was, that's probably where the majority of... Um, you know, the the, uh, the, the 2.8 gigabyte <laughs> update really went into. So after those major gameplay updates, we just have some franchise updates. Uh, the first one is they fixed an issue where scenarios were incorrectly awarding a development trait upgrade even though they failed reaching the goal. Um, it says when swimming. I don't even know what that means. So basically, you didn't even have to reach the goal and you were still getting rewarded uh, an up a, a development trait. So they took they fixed that issue. Now you actually have to, to do it properly to get that up to get that development trait. It also says, and this is kind of related to the first one, that they fixed an issue where some scenarios were not tracking uh, properly due to a bug with a stat type, which is something that I've noticed throughout the entire game. Even in practice mode, a lot of times I'll go into uh, practice mode and it'll have completely inaccurate stats based off of how often I've run a play or how much I probably average on a play, uh, which is something I've noticed all year. So there's definitely issues when it comes to stat tracking inside of EA, inside of Madden somewhere. So I don't know if this addressed all of that but it definitely um, is a trying to address it in this particular instance in franchise mode now these next three are all about uh, soft lock issues uh, which have been happening in the game and it's only in franchise mode now I'm not 100% sure what a soft lock is when it comes to Madden uh, but apparently a soft lock is when the game appears playable but it's not it, it requires fur further action to, uh, to progress and I know that sometimes when I'm playing online in a game or even in a practice mode uh, the game feels like it's it, I, I can't hike the ball or you know this is something that happened since the most recent update which I which I would imagine is what they're talking about when they say a soft lock uh, because I'm sure I've seen other youtubers talking about this when they're playing in a game where they just can't hike the ball on a play they have to wait till the game uh, gives them a penalty or uh, you know a lot of times you can just hit the start button and go to the menu and then come back out and it'll fix but I'm pretty sure that's what they're talking about when they talk about soft lock in these next three issues now they didn't necessarily address the issue that I'm talking about but they did address that issue when it comes to a soft lock issue that they would also run into uh, when exiting franchise before the draft a soft lock issue um, where they would also lock after exiting a game. So these are all um, probably similar scenarios, but I know ultimately it's something that um, it, it, they probably should address when it comes to the actual game. Now, I don't know. I, I mean, I know I was messing around in practice mode trying to see if they changed any of the defenses, and I still pretty much ran into the same issues uh, when it came to the, the controller kind of freezing and me having to hit the start button. So I know that they really didn't fix that, but in franchise mode, they did at least address it in a couple different ways. Now, these issues seem to be addressed pretty much equally whether you're on next gen or current gen they look about the same uh, maybe one or two might be different but for the most part it looks pretty consistent throughout um, other than that on my own personal note like I said I was actually trying to check out how the defenses reacted to certain plays that I run a lot and it seemed to me as if uh, they did kind of you know, there's always little updates that they don't even mention in these patch notes. Uh, I've had specific plays of mine get patched, uh, specific um, you know, to, to coverages and stuff like that get patched. And I did notice that when I was playing that certain coverages, uh, man coverages seem to be a little bit tuned up, uh, a little bit better, uh, specifically cover two, which uh, I, I did some plays that I typically can beat any defense with um, and cover two man especially was doing a slightly better job. There's something that I noticed too, it almost seemed like the depth of cover two safeties seem to start back a little bit further than normal. These are all things that I'm, you know, basically uh, seeing myself. They're not written in the patch notes and they're just things that uh, might be worth keeping an eye on. But ultimately, none of the defenses really seem to change too much. So, you know, that's good for me because I always worry that I'm gonna have to go through and update all my eBooks. Uh, and based off of this patch, doesn't really look like I have to do that. So I'm excited for that, that I don't have to do a ton of updating like I typically do, uh, which is good because I feel like personally the defenses in Madden 22 are actually reacting pretty good. 
um, for the most part. So I'm glad that I don't have to go through and do a bunch of extra work. It doesn't seem like they patched too much on the defensive side, but I'm sure there's still a few plays here and there that did not get mentioned in this patch update. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, make sure to hit the like button in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.